Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Saga Prashapati and this video will be talking about why should you should buy my course of Azure Data Engineering end-to-end -end project and master in Python course. So see, if you're if you're someone who is very fresh in this role or having or two, three years of experience or want to switch your career from one domain to Azure Data Engineering role, then I would suggest you first clear your basics of Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, and SQL Python, and then you can take this course. Here, I have shown you everything about the uh, engineering, I mean, Azure Data Engineering project, where we will you know, start from the analysis part, analysis part till the reporting part. So I have also shown you with you moment know, how we can fetch the data from multiple sources like uh, API, like CSV files, like zip files, like lobby storage, SQL tables, and so on. Right, after that, what I have shown you that how we can, you know, uh, <clears throat> how, how we can dump the data using copy activity, using some lookup activities and some, you know, some some other stuff. And after that, I have shown you how we how we should release the data and how we should create a bar utility framework which will work in all the tables. Like, you know, if you are having 100 of tables and if you want to clean the data, right, for all the that 100 tables, then you will not write uh, save code again and again, right? So you will create some utility or some framework or you can say a function so that we will just pass the table name and it will work. It will uh, do their work, right? So that, you know, we will save our time. So in most of the companies or in most of the projects, we always create a utility which, which which will be used in the different project or, you know, different uh, uh, different use case so that, you know, we, we, we should not write the save code again and again and so on. Right, that's what I have done in this course. And after that, you know, I have shown you how we can create a mod in our data bricks, even though you can do the same thing in Azure Synapse also. In many of the company people do uh, modeling and all in Azure Synapse, but in my case, I have, I have did it in Azure Data Brick only. Right, after that, what I have shown you, how we can dump the data. And in, I mean, uh, after, before that, what I have shown you that, how, how we should write a test cases so that we will validate our data, right? Suppose you have created some R table, fact, sorry, some fact table, some dimension table, some reporting table, right? Now you want to test it before publishing it, whether the, you know, the logic what I have written, it's correct or not. So how would you do that? So I have created a small POS, I mean, a small framework or utility to show you that, you know, this is the way how you can uh, write the, or, you know, how you can validate your code at all okay apart from this what i have done after that i have i tried to dump the data into sql and db and sql snaps dw okay they also i have done using uh, azure data factory pipelines after that i have created a azure data factory i mean a, a, a complete pipeline of you know of sourcing the data cleaning the data making a smart logics and then publishing the data Till here I have created a complete pipeline and after that what I have done like I created a two two use cases of one one use case of logic care one use case of power shell see sometimes I, I I just tell you what's happening over there right so you can assume that uh, uh, you uh, there is a stakeholder okay or your client is there and he's asking you a daily daily refresh file or a daily refresh data in the excel format or maybe in the csv format over the email right and he or she doesn't have a power bi or any reporting uh, reporting access reporting to the access so how would you send the daily refresh data of their of their you know product uh, how we can do after refreshing the publishing data so that's what i have created a, a logic here the same thing can be achieved via via python escape also using smtp library you can also do that but you know just for just to tell you what is the purpose of logic app how we can create the logic app and how we can trigger the logic app via uh, via area so those things i have shown you apart from this the second the second scenario the second use case is that you know um, suppose you have one server okay and you are dumping the data uh, data at 3 a.m midnight Right, so you can assume that, you know, if I am dumping a data at 3 a.m. midnight, at that time, mind be the server is down or server is not up. 
So what you have to do, you have to first up the server, dump the data, and after that, after dumping the data, you have to shut down the VM or server. Otherwise, the port will be very huge, right? So those those automation also I have tried to cover in this course. Apart from this, what we have done, we have shown you the CI/CD pipelines using Azure DevOps of uh, of ADF, Azure Data Factory, and Azure Blob Storage or any manual files, uh, and Using data action, I have shown you how we can deploy Azure Data Breaks notebooks or workspace. Cool. And after that, at the last, I have I have shown you how we can you know optimize our ADFs, you know, reduce the reduce the uh, pipelines and how we can what we can say how we can uh, handle the corner cases. Let's say sometimes we have to run our job manually. So what we can do at that time. And then I have shown you what is Power BI and how we can create a basic Power BI reporting. See, Power BI is not a very big challenge or big deal. You know, you can easily learn it. it depends on, you know, what the use case or what you want to show in the reporting layer, right? So I have also given you some, some basic understanding of reporting and how we can create a modeling over there. Cool. And if I come to the master in Python, uh, course there we have actually what we have uh, decided that first we will go through the basics of python right like you know what is called loop how we can write uh, uh how we can write defense condition and so on and oops concept accenture handling and other stuff that is the basic part then what we are bringing how we can write the algorithm right and what is time complexity, what is space complexity, and all those stuff in DSA part. Like I, we have covered mostly DSA part also over there. What is sorting, what is tag, what is queue, and so, 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 so. Okay. After that, we are going to, you know, uh, solve like 10 to 15 problems based on one, one scenario. Like, you know, one, one problem we will be solving from, with the help of stack. And then queue, then link place, then other stuff. You know, sliding window problems we have. We have heap problems, hashing problems. So all the data data structure will be used in in the in in my course. At the last I end in the last module, what we have decided that we will try to uh, uh, tell you or you know to yeah to uh, to tell you that how we should write a a perfect code in our project in our production project see whenever we are writing any code even in the python in c++ even in java we should use functional programming okay and books on post concept we wish we should use it if you are not using books concept then that means you are not following a uh, a structure of programming methods so uh, there what we will show you, we will, at least I guess, we will try to create two or three utilities of framework. There we will show you uh, where, the, where the data structure is being used and how you should write a port using OOPS method. Like, you know, creating class, constructor, and then, you know, uh, uh, polymorphs, all those things we will try to cover at the last. So, <clears throat> till now, like more than 350 pupils have been have registered in my Azure Data Engineering project, and in Python project, more than 50 people have be, have have registered. So, if you are someone who is very excited to learn Azure Data Engineering and Python, please go and take my course. You will not regret it. At least you will get to know what is the real time scenario. And I also have given you the code at the last, so you can you know just copy it or you know you can if you you can import those things. And you know, uh, try to understand the code also very easily. And I have shown you by step by step. You know, if you are if you are very special, then I would suggest first go and learn basic from my channel. Okay, if you're someone who knows at least the basic stuff, right? Like what is area, what is link service, what is integration, and type, then definitely you should go and check out my you know uh, course. You will definitely learn it. And the fees of the course is very less. It is like you know, but the price of one large pizza and one small pizza and uh, people also are liking it the concept of what I have given you or what I given them they are where they like very much right so I hope that you will also love it and please do not forget to subscribe my channel if you are very special or you know want to love it and thank you bye bye 
and we will meet you in the next video till then bye bye